see you, Craig. Might be feeling a bit sick in here today. Yeah. Alice leaving the straight house now, apparently. Uh, I think Chris was there too, though, so it was more like a, a drinking session than a date. Oh, good, cool. That way, the only things that get hurt are your wallet and your liver. Harsh? Well, that's relationships for me. Uh, I'm off on the food rate. It's fine, no need to panic. Alice Piper has entered the building. Good night, last night. I certainly did. Sorry for being late, babe. Don't worry about it. Uh, no, you should worry about it. Hey. You're late, it's not on. Sorry, my watch must be a bit hungover too. I expect punctuality from everybody, okay, including you. Is that understood? Sorry, it won't happen again. You try to spread your fingers? Okay, let's have a look at this cut first. Ooh, nasty. How'd you do it? On the fence. Oh, it's infected for sure. But that doesn't explain the pain in your hand. How long have you had that? I don't know, a few weeks. So, before you cut your arm? Don't know, maybe. Just lift your chin a bit. Oh yeah, they're quite swollen. Is the joint pain just in your wrist or all over? I don't know. Can I just get the pills or whatever? <sighs> Take one, morning and night. You need a blood test and a tetanus shot as well. I've got a nurse to come do that in a sec. Yep. Bruce Hickey, 15 years old. What's your home address, mate? What do you need that for? Uh, just for the records. Make sure we've got the right patient. Any address will do. Family, maybe, or friend's place. How long have you been living on the street? What's it to you? Well, it'll be winter soon, bro, and you can't live another I motorway. I can handle it. Yeah, still, the social worker here might be able to find you. I'll do dead. my own thing. Right? You will need to come in again tomorrow for the blood results. I want to check that arm again, okay? Tomorrow. Yeah. I thought Karen was working today. No, I um, sent him home again. He really needs to sort out those headaches. Some men think it's weak to see a doctor. Some men are too chicken. Yeah. What's up? Nothing, I'm just trying to figure out whether I should feel sorry for him or not. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, here you go. So, what's the scoop with Craig and Alice? Mm -hmm. the flat major no? Wouldn't read their chances. Is this National Pessimist Day or something? I've had Sarah muttering all morning, now you. What'd she say? Come on, spill. My next girlfriend came to see me. Turns out she's HIV positive. Why? And you're worried that maybe you... No, 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 we were safe. But there's always a slim chance. I've taken the test. No wonder Sarah's a bit grumpy. Well, I haven't told her yet. She's just grumpy about the X crying on my shoulder. You gotta tell her, bro. For one thing, she should get tested too. I just don't want to worry her unless I have to. Secrets? It's not a secret account I'm keeping patient confidentiality. You call it whatever you want, but it all adds up to the same thing. Slippery slope. Yeah, I know. Then tell her, man. Sarah's not a wuss. It's just taken us a long time to get to where we are now, man, if I blow it. Give yourself some credit, TK. Give her some too. She's changed a lot since you've been together. Yeah? Yeah. And shoot me if I'm wrong, but I think you're underestimating her. Sorry. No, uh, no, don't be. I was trying to wake up, but I couldn't. Wet dream. <laughs> Good wet. Can Kinky wet? No. No, I was dreaming I was a, a kid back home about nine, and I was eating these um biscuits, shortbread. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Mm. And there's this tartan pattern all over the package, and. This guy playing bagpipes. Yeah, I hate those. You mean the, the real? I'm not just imagining it. Well, I mean, I don't know what brains you're talking about, but it's pretty common to have... No, no, wait a sec. That, um, there was something else. Some, someone else. Uh, my mother, I don't know, but... 
felt normal. Familiar. Shortbread and tartan. Homesick or delirious, I can't tell. Either way, this calls for a cup of tea. Uh, yeah, thanks. So, budget pretty much the same as the last funding round? I'm sorry, but their question was drowned out by the roar of my hangover. You and Alice have a lot to answer for. Hey, I was another innocent victim. Alice needs a drinking buddy who can hack the pace. Oh, I think she rather likes the one she's got. Yeah, I'm at least 15 years older than her. And I feel it. Oh, think of yourself as a nice cheddar, well-aged. Not just that I'm old enough to be her father, I'm her boss as well. You know how well that worked out last time? Sarah and Alice are polar opposites. She'll get bored as soon as the party stops. Me think the man doth protest too much. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So find out. Give it a chance before you doom it to failure. So that was me told? In front of everyone? It was lying in the sand stuff. No, no, no. That was much immense stuff. I understand why Craig needed to do it, though. You must really want this to work out. You never take that crap from anyone. Meet my new and immature adult. Kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> Maybe Craig will be a good influence. Craig, he can be as immature as the next guy. The way he treated Sarah. Uh, those two were addicted to drama. You're just lucky Sarah seems to be over that phase. Yeah, maybe I'm the one who'll stuff it up this time. No, you won't. You and Sarah are a whole new ball game, like me and Craig. Speaking of new ball games... Yeah, I need to have the first time because you've got a hangover. I don't need no handicap, buddy. I still dream about England sometimes. I'm in a cold, damp classroom doing detention or something. And then I'll wake up and realise that my blanket's fallen off and my toes are freezing. Buxton. Buxton in East Anglia. Sorry? Uh, th th that's where I'm from. That's where I dreamt about. Oh, I've never been there. It's beautiful. It's, um... It's this tiny village with an old church with a um, pointy thing. Uh, steeple. It's called a spire. A spire? Yeah. Now I remember. Remember what? Uh, it, it was raining and I was walking home from school so I stopped to keep drying. There was thunder so of course I went to wait for the lightning outside. Oh, good idea. Yeah, and it, it struck the spire and all this stuff was falling off the roof and Rather than running off, I just stood there watching it fall. It missed me by inches. Hang on, was this in your dream or did it actually happen? No, it happened. It's a memory, a, a proper memory. Oh, you're lucky to be alive then. Yeah, I guess so. I love those little villages. When I went to boarding school, I saw quite a bit of the countryside in the holidays. You'll know the type of place I mean then. Yeah, it's quiet, sleepy, safe, apart from all the lightning. Must be nice to know that it's there to go back to. Yeah, uh, really nice. Now's your chance to make it up to me. Quick, no one's listening. Still my turn, okay. Dinner tonight, quiet one, no alcohol, guide's on her. Look, I'm busy tonight, Alice. Washing your hair. Shouldn't take long. I'd better get back to it, eh? Right, let me keep you. Now, just hang tight. It shouldn't be too far away. Sarah. I'm busy. Please. Okay, I'm listening. Not here. The IV have to work. All right. I have a few things I need to say to you, too. No explanation, just busy. Maybe he is. <laughs> yeah, busy reversing away from me. Looks like you were the good time, not the long time, honey. But things were getting really serious there for a while, mm. especially when Scarlett lost the plot. He really leaned on me for support and I didn't mind one bit. The guys are lucky like that, eh? They never feel guilty about taking what they need. Says the authority on men. Yeah, okay. But you know what? 
Lesbians are wise too. We can see what's going on for the sisters. I thought you were going to say something cheerful, like, I guarantee you'll call within the hour. And he might. Like you said, what would I know about the male mind? Unfortunately, I think you're spot on this time. You're going to have to hit this fun run thing a little harder and you can add the name Craig Valentine to the list, whether he likes it or not. Hey, what's up? What does that look like to you? Uh, thrombocytopenia and neutropenia. Some sort of acute leukemia? Uh-huh. How old is this Royce Hickey? Too young to die. Mate, you better get him in here ASAP. He needs a transfusion to deal with the anemia, and that's just for starters. The problem is he's a street kid. I asked him to come again tomorrow, but I'm not holding my breath. Then we better get out there and find him. Domain? Under the motorway? Yeah, but let your fingers do the walking first. I'll divvy up a list of agencies that might know him, and then we'll hit the phones. If you're sure you can spare the time. Well, it might take a while to find him. Have you got plans? <clears throat> my plans will just have to wait. Okay. This was something important. Yeah, whatever. I'm sorry, Jay, but um, it's just the one glass now. What's keeping taking? Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. I will come set up going down that cell Sorry to interrupt your uh, busy night. I just left a few things behind. Shouldn't take long. Oh, come on. This is for the best. Absolutely. I agree. I'm too old for you. Yeah, you really are. Have you seen my mascara? Look, I know you're angry, but I think in time you'll realise that I'm right. Yeah, because you're way too past it for me and I'm way too much fun for you. Don't hold back, will you? Well, you're the one telling me you've joined the Slipper Brigade. Well, you got out just in time then, didn't you? Yeah, I really did. Because I've seen inside your wardrobe, so thankfully I don't have to pretend that the safari suit is back in fashion. Well, good, because you see, I need someone more mature, someone who is more my intellectual equal. Mm, yeah, someone like, um, Brenda Holloway. Let me know, I'll hook you guys up, shut your coffee in the calf. Well, at least there won't be any more gossip in the calf. Yeah, because that'll make me cry. Oh, you're so tough. At least I'm not a big wuss. Coward. Slapper. Hey. Feeling better? Yeah, thanks. But I am making chicken soup, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Don't tell me your mother's secret recipe came to you in your dream. No. It did get me thinking at home, though. It's, uh, it's funny the stuff you remember. Yeah, like what? I don't know, like kids I went to school with, games we used to play. But I don't want to bore you. No, I like your stories. Okay. Um, well, me and these lads from down the road, we used to uh, build forts. Not just sticks and blankets and stuff, but the, the real deal. Mm, typical. Yeah, we, we used to build them everywhere. Each other's back gardens, this big hill behind the village, that was the best one. From up there you could look down on the old church and this old windmill. We felt like kings. Wait, was it a big hill? Yeah, why? Because I didn't think they had big hills in East Anglia. Unless I wasn't paying attention properly in geography class. Maybe it just felt like a big hill to a little kid. Yeah, that's the thing about memories. I think sometimes we make half of them up. Y yeah, maybe. We're back in Shortland Street tomorrow morning at a quarter to twelve. Later tonight, a gauche office intern in her comfortable shoes discovers The Devil Wears Prada, your midweek movie at 25 to 10.